In our organizations, we all want to have our progress continually pointed upwards. To do that, we need strong goals that help us to see that finish line. Hi, I'm Brett, and I want to talk to you about the keys to successfully creating and completing goals. So in completing our goals, there are five keys to remember. First, you have to create goals that motivate you. You have to be interested and invested. So self-generated goals generally work the best. And this goes along with having goals aligned with values that we determine are important to us. The second key is to remember the acronym SMART. This is an easy acronym to remember. The S stands for specific. Our goals have to be specific. They need to answer the five W's. What do I want to accomplish? Why is this goal important? Who is involved? Where is it located? And which resources or limits do I have? An example of a specific goal could be, I want to lose 20 pounds. I will do this over 20 weeks, so, so roughly five months. Um, that equals about a pound a week. So in the answer to some of the questions, I'm the who. The what is uh, losing the weight? The why is it important? Because I want to be and feel healthy. Resources that may limit me may be healthy foods or access to a gym or a place to work out. So the M in SMART stands for measurable. You can't manage what you don't measure and you can't improve what you don't manage. Your goals have to be trackable so you know where you stack up. Measuring them also lets you know when you've completed your goal and it's time to move to the next goal or to increase the intensity of the goal you have. So in the example we use as far as losing weight, when I've lost 20 pounds, oh, I know I've met that goal and then it can determine if I need to maintain or do I need to lose another five pounds. A is for attainable. We need to create a realistic goal that we can and want to achieve. Notice I said want. We also need to have the power and the means to do so. For example, we may want to move up in our organization, but making the goal to get a specific promotion may not be the right goal. This goal is dependent on who else applies, a hiring manager's decision, we don't have the power. Instead, a goal could be getting the experience and the training needed to be considered for the promotion. This way we have the power to complete it. R is for relevant. This step is to ensure that the goal matters to you and aligns with your current situation. Sometimes it's just not the right time for a goal based on outside circumstances because you need to be able to invest fully to complete the goal. And T is for time bound. A goal needs timeframes. You have to have your end goal as well as check-in timeframes along the way to make sure that you're on the right path. Going back to the example of weight loss. Well, I know I'm gonna lose 20 pounds in 20 weeks, but every week I'm gonna to look to see if I'm on the path by losing that one pound. The third key is to write your goal down and all the information that goes with it. Having it visible and concrete will help keep it in your mind and help it to stay a focus for you. This helps sustain your motivation and it makes it real. The fourth key is to create an action plan. This will help you manage expectations for your goal and gives you a working document where you can track your progress. This provides the appropriate steps and supports you with the actions that you need to take. The final key is to stay the course. This step involves checking back regularly to follow up on our progress. It also means finding a way to celebrate or, or reward ourselves for the small wins along the way. Celebrating these small wins helps to keep us engaged and excited about the progress that we're making. Using these keys and remembering the SMART acronym, we'll be able to achieve our goals and see better results for ourselves and for our organization.